Chad Schatz from Clarkston, Washington, didn't launch his boat in the Columbia River this morning to go fishing. Instead, he's getting his 24-foot aluminum launch into position for the work that's about to take place high above the water. A short distance downriver, this helicopter crew heads for a temporary landing zone that's been established next to Bonneville Power Administration's Big Eddy Night Transmission Line, which crosses the Columbia River Gorge in Wasco County. 23 aviation obstruction warning instruments, otherwise known as marker balls, are to be installed by the Sturgeon Electric Company and their partner subsidiary, MYR Transmission Services. It's the first time BPA has allowed an electrical contractor to use human external cargo techniques to get the job done. We're really excited for the opportunity. Be the first, is a big honor. We have a safety inspection for our ropes daily. When we took bids in from the different helicopter companies for this proposal, safety was a major factor for us in, in evaluating their technical proposals and, and their safety qualifications in order to get the job done. Safety is a part of our culture. Even if it takes a little longer to do our work, we're making sure we're doing our work right and safe. Get close, Rusty. Little bit. And hold that. And when the job is complete, crews can take a little extra satisfaction knowing these high visibility markers will make local aviation traffic that much safer. All right, James, this next ball is gonna be an orange, buddy. This project's not real large in scope, but there's a lot of moving pieces. The one span is 4,700 feet, but it crosses over two lanes of the interstate where it splits, it crosses over Union Pacific Railroad, Burlington Northern Railroad on the other side. Obviously the Columbia River. The Columbia River is a vital shipping channel to and from the Pacific Ocean. MYR hired a spotter boat to keep mariners out of the work zone plus made arrangements with a Coast Guard, Army Corps of Engineers, and various ports before performing the work. On the east and westbound lanes of Interstate 84, 15-minute rolling slowdowns were done to prevent traffic from traveling underneath the line when the helo was overhead. This was a, a complex project. Yeah, a lot of coordination had to go into this. It takes a great deal of skill and concentration to keep a helicopter steady when the winds pick up. Go back up just a little bit. And hold that. It takes a special kind of line worker to fly below a helicopter and do this type of work. It's a, it's a rush. It's an absolute rush. You know, it, it's not meant for everybody. You can, you can tell someone how to do it, but until they actually do it, it's really hard to get a feel for it. The first marker ball was installed on a Monday. By Thursday, all 23 were in place atop the Big Eddy Night Line, thanks to many dedicated, safety-conscious BPA and MYR group employees. They've done a great job out here, and we're happy the way things turned out. We showed excellent teamwork on the project, from our pre-planning to the execution. I feel like this is gonna open lots of doors for future projects.